So, good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Here I am going to post now the part two of knowledge and wisdom. I make this as a cover here because there is the words they wake up tomorrow, people, as a cover of this video. So, I begin here. In the book of Deuteronomy 32, verse 18, you deserted the rock who fathered you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. That's true. There is a vision of rock. Joshua will fill with the spirit of wisdom because Moses had laid his hands on him. Imagine it can be transformed by laying through the hand of a true prophet. So, you must recognize it, please. If you want, I will lay my hands. Very gladly. Deuteronomy 32 verses 1 to 9. Listen, O heavens, hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Let my teaching fall like rain, and my words descend like dew, like showers on new grass, like abundant rain on tender plants. I will proclaim the name of the Lord. O oh, praise the greatness of our God, Yahweh, the Father of our Lord. Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach. He is the rock. His works are perfect, and all his ways are just. A faithful God who doesn't wrong, upright and just is he. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob, his allotted inheritance. So, that is uh, page two, page three. That you may love the Lord your God, listen to his voice, and hold fast to him, for the Lord is your life. It's true, and he will give you many years in the land. He swore to give to your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Romans 3, verse 22. The, righteous of, the righteousness of God comes through faith in Jesus Christ. That's true. For, first book of John 3, verse 1. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And what we will be has not yet been made known, but we know that when He appears, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. Imagine, He is like us. He will appear in glorious body. So Luke 24, verse 39. As Jesus appeared to his disciples, he showed his hands and feet and said, It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost doesn't have flesh and bones. As you see, I have. Imagine that's true. John 12, verse 48. There is a judge for the one who rejects me and doesn't accept my words. That very word which I spoke will condemn him at the last day. How true. Uh, John 12, verse 49. For I did not speak of my own accord, but the Father, the Son, who commanded me what to say and how to say it. This command leads to eternal life. So whatever I say is just what the Father has told me to say. How true again. John 15, verse 16. I choose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. That is true, proven by many signs and wonders, miracles. That is all posted in my channel. John 15 verse 26. When the Counselor comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth of oh, excuse me. Who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me. That is true again. All this I have told you so that you will not go astray. Imagine. He gave us everything. John 16 verse 13. But when the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. And he will tell you what is yet to come. That is very true again. Uh, Jeremiah 7 verse 3. God asks his people to reform ways and
in actions. That is now a must in this awakening of our truth. Verse 28. This is the nation that has not responded to correction. Truth has perished, so the Lord has rejected this generation that is under his wrath. So, beware. Nations that doesn't uh, respond to his correction, that will unfold. Jeremiah verse 8, 3. All the survivors of this evil nation will prefer death to life. No one repents of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? But my people don't know the requirements of the Lord. Yes, that is very true. And now it is revealed all by me. Knowledge requirements born again. You must really be born again, my dear friends. So, Jeremiah 9, 7. See, I will refine and test them. For what else can I do because of the sins of my people? Imagine, refinement will come through persecution, trust, calamities. Jeremiah 9, 9. Should I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? Verse 6, 15, chapter 15. Because the people have rejected me, declares the Lord, so I will lay my hands on them and destroy them. I can no longer show compassion. 15, verse 7. God will bring destruction on his people, for they have not changed their ways. Jeremiah 15, 11. Surely God will deliver you for a good purpose. Surely he will make your enemies in time of disaster and in time of distress. You see? So that is page 3, now page 4. Jeremiah 15 verse 20. Let them turn to you, but you must not turn to them. I will make you a world to these people, but they will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you to rescue and save you. This is true to me. I have experienced it. Second book of Samuel, verse 29, chapter 22. You are my lamp, O Lord. The Lord turns my darkness to light. How true. Hosea 15, 14, verse 1. Return to God, for your sins have been your downfall. It's true. Hosea 14, verse 9. The wise will realize these things. Who is discerning? He will understand them. The ways of the Lord are right. The righteous work in them, but the rebellious is stumble in them. How true. Hosea 11, verse 5 to 6. Because they refuse to repent, swords will flash in their cities, will destroy them. True, there is a vision of sword shown to me. Isaiah 24, verse 5. The earth is defiled by its people and refused the everlasting covenant. Therefore, a curse consumes the earth. Its people must bear their guilt. Therefore, earth's inhabitants are burned up and very few are left. That is true. Isaiah 50, verse 4. In those days, declares the Lord, the people will go in tears to seek the Lord their God. That will, that will be unfolding when the catastrophes, calamities come. Isaiah 50 verse 5. They will, they will ask the way to the most holy place. They will come and bind themselves to the Lord in an everlasting covenant that will not be forgotten. So, everlasting covenant is the anointing experience that is your everlasting covenant when you get born again. So, I will uh, make that here a uh, pair online. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have led them astray and caused them to roam on the mountain. Yeah, the pastors, priests have led them astray because they themselves have not been anointed. Therefore, don't have the spirit within them. So how can they preach? Just 
stories. Hosea 4 verse 6. The people are destroyed from lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge. God rejected them as his priests for they have ignored the law of God. That's true. Joel 4 verse 9. It will be like people, like priests, they will be punished both for their ways and repay them for their deeds. Jeremiah 10 verse 21. Shepherds are senseless and don't inquire the Lord, so they don't pro prosper and all their flock is scattered. Jeremiah 12 verse 10 11. Many shepherds will ruin my vineyard and trample down my field. It will be made a wasteland. The whole land will be laid waste because there is no one who cares. That is true. Jeremiah 51 verse 1 to 6. See, I'll stir up the spirit of a destroyer against the whole land and the people. It is time for the Lord's vengeance. He will pay what one deserves. So, Jeremiah 51 verse 12. The Lord will carry out his purpose, his decree against his people. The Lord Almighty has sworn by himself. Verse 15. He made the earth by his power. He founded the world by his wisdom and stretched the heavens by his understanding. Verse 18. Every man is senseless and without knowledge. When his judgment comes, they will perish. Which is true. Verse 24. The Lord declares, before your eyes, I will repay the world and all who live in it for all the wrong they have done. I will stretch out my hand against you, roll you off the cliffs and make you a burnt out mountains. Psalm 145 verses 10 to 12. Your saints will extol you. They will tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all men know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. That's true. The saints make that. Psalm 145 verse 13. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is faithful to all his promises. Righteous in all his ways and loving towards all he has made. How true. Jeremiah 8 verse 9. The wise will be put to shame. They will be dismayed and trapped. Since they have rejected the word of the Lord, what kind of wisdom do they have? Imagine. Verse 12. So they will fall among the fallen. They will be brought down when they are punished, says the Lord. What I have given them will be taken from them. People will flee from other cities, for the Lord our God has doomed us to perish because we have sinned against Him. True. Jeremiah 9, verses 3 and 6. It is not by truth that they triumph in the land. They don't acknowledge me. In their deceit, they refuse to acknowledge me, declares the Lord. Very true. Jeremiah 10, verses 23 to 25. That's the prayer of Jeremiah. I know, Lord, that a man's life is not his own. It is not for man to direct his steps. Correct me, O Lord, but only with justice, not in your anger, lest you... Use me into nothing. Pour out your wrath on the nations that do not acknowledge you, on the people who do not call on your name. So that is very true. That will unfold soon. Second book of Chronicle. Oh, it is almost time. I have to uh, stop first and continue further because I have exceeded more than 15 minutes. It is not taken. So I have to say now to you that God bless you all. We love you. Bye for
for now